There are a couple things that are difficult. One of the most challenging things that I do almost every day is I try and learn Russian. So I have to learn Russian because the space station is international. Half of it is Russian and there are Russian cosmonauts that fly on the space station. And since communication is so important to being an astronaut, um, you have to learn to speak with them. So learning Russian is a difficult part of my job. The most physically challenging is definitely spacewalking. And that's because you're in the spacesuit for something like seven hours and uh, the whole day is like 12 to 14 hours of work and you can't really eat when you're in the spacesuit. You can drink water, but no food allowed. So you can't have any lunch or anything. And it's very physically demanding. I mean, moving around the spacesuit is very challenging here on Earth. In space, it's a lot easier because it's weightless. I mean, in any career, there are definitely times where that's kind of discouraging or you don't think it's going particularly well. And actually a good example of that was the beginning of the recruitment process for me. It truly was incredibly challenging. I mean, I had to solve math problems when I was underwater um, with a weight vest on. I mean, it was, it was completely different than anything that I had ever expected I would do before. So there certainly was a time there when I thought, oh my gosh, I'm definitely not gonna be picked. But then the Canadian Space Agency asked me back. I just want you to understand, we have put these candidates through their paces. That was a really good lesson to me that even if I think things aren't going well, maybe I don't necessarily have the big picture and I should just uh, continue to do my best and let them decide. I train and work every day. So um, a typical day for me, like today, for example, I woke up, I went to the gym. So I trained to try and be healthy and strong to fly in space um, and to move my space suit effectively. So I did that in the morning and then I had a Russian conversation class and tomorrow I have a flight on an airplane. So, I mean, every day is a little bit different, but, but every day I really train to train to fly in space. Good question. It'll be a couple years before I go to space because I still have a lot to learn and I'm a rookie. I am really brand new. I started training two years ago, so I'm done basic training. Yeah, who knows? Maybe between five and 10 years from now. I think that some of the situations that I'm gonna encounter in space, I'm definitely well prepared to deal with. So the fear isn't um, as strong anymore. I feel very prepared. As far as risk goes, spacewalking is the coolest thing we do, but it's also the most dangerous. So maybe I'll feel like that's pretty scary when I get to it. <laughs>